Okay, so the important thing to realize first is that this is a part of a full circle. So if I draw the full circle in badly, um, we've just got a slice of it. Now it asks us for the perimeter. Now there are three parts to the perimeter. There's this seven centimeters here, there's seven centimeters here, and this what we call an arc here. So we need to work out the arc first. So to work out the length of the arc, we're going to do uh, the full circumference of the circle, which is pi times the diameter. Now, the diameter here is going to be 14 because the radius, the distance between the outside of the circle and the center of the circle is 7, and the diameter is twice the radius, so that's going to be 14. But that will give us uh, the whole circumference, and we don't want the whole circumference, we want just this 49 degrees of it. So we need to write that as a fraction, so 49 the total in the circle is 360, therefore as a fraction that's going to be 49 over 360, and it's always over 360 because the circle always adds up to 360 degrees. So I'm going to type that into my calculator, pi times 14 times, and I'm going to press the fraction button, 49 over 360, and it gives me the answer of 5.9864 blah 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 blah. I'm going to keep that into my calculator because I haven't answered the question yet, because, as I said at the start, to get the perimeter, I need to add that 5.9864 blah 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 to the 7 and the other 7, and that will give me the full perimeter. So I'm going to add 7, add 7, and it gives me 19.9864 blah 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 blah. So to two decimal places, that's going to be 19.99, because that 6 moves that 8 up to a 9.